Hi and welcome, my name is Sandra and I'm an OT student who has an exam this week. <laughs> I've had a lot of success and learned a lot of study habits from videos, so I wanted to take some time this week to share my study routines and habits that I've learned from other people and from experience with anyone that's interested. So I'm going to go through... Things are going well. So in this video, I'm going to take you through day by day and show you how I study for an exam in order to be successful in graduate school. Throughout the course of the semester, as I'm learning material for an exam, I am always practicing good learning habits. These include reviewing material before a lecture so that by the time I'm watching the lecture, it's already my second time on the material. During lectures, I stay engaged by asking myself questions about the material and also thinking of questions that might be used on exam. I also create flashcards that I review you every single day after the lecture. I use a software called Anki which helps you with spaced repetition. It gives you a certain number of cards to review every single day and as you're keeping up on those cards you're seeing the information frequently enough so that it stays relevant in your mind and you actually learn it. And then depending on the exam I start to do a formal preparation anywhere between four days and a week before the start of the exam. Today I have two big goals to accomplish in order to prepare for this exam. I'm going to spend today completing assignments that have due dates before for the exam. When I have other things that I can be doing instead of studying, I tend to do them, so I like to just clear my plate of all potential procrastinators. After I finish knocking things off of my to-do list, I will go to the library with a friend and we will do a study session together and overview all of the material. This is really helpful to do before you start formally studying because it's really great to identify weak spots in your knowledge. It's really easy to convince yourself that you know something, but when you're trying to study something with another person, you identify the places that you actually don't have a firm enough understanding of. The biggest thing that I'll take away from today's study session is what I need to be working on most this evening, tomorrow, and the next day. <sighs> So I'm going to get started on my to-do list and getting everything that is due this week done so that I can just focus on my exam after this. When I'm studying, I use the Pomodoro method, which is basically a fancy way of saying I study for a set amount of time and take regular breaks. If you're not super familiar with the Pomodoro method and want to learn more, there's plenty of videos on YouTube. Another thing that I do to be successful while I'm studying, I don't just watch or read different resources. I engage with them. I try to compare them to what I learned in lecture. I try to understand them and I frequently pause and will try to teach my screen the information back once I've learned it. I find that this is really helpful to see if I'm actually getting what's being taught to me or if I'm just watching and it's in one ear out the other because what I'm really trying to do now is make sure that I have a firm understanding of what I've learned so in order to do that I have to work with the information and be able to use it myself. Doing lots of practice questions is a really helpful way to kind of test your knowledge and understanding as you go. I'm gonna get back to it now. Hello happy Tuesday. Um, it's about one in the afternoon. I worked all morning and now I get to start studying for the day. I'm gonna spend about three or four hours of my time dedicated to this and then I need to get into not falling behind on the week. So now that I've gone through the information with a friend and really realized what I don't know, my plan for today is to go in and try to learn those things. Now, typically if I didn't learn it from the lecture, that's not gonna be worth my time, but I do like to go back to the lecture that day to figure out exactly what about a topic I'm supposed to know and then I'll go to outside resources to find those. Sometimes I'll use a textbook but normally I've also already seen that one so if I'm really not understanding it at this point I don't think those two resources are going to be very helpful. Typically there's a lot of YouTube videos about these topics at least the basics that will give me a good foundation that I can then go back and apply to a lecture or textbook. Yeah we're going to spend today just going back through information and trying to learn what we don't know. Hello, happy day before the exam. In less than 24 hours, I'll take my exam and then I'll be super happy because I prepared well for it. The day before the exam, I like to work with other people to solidify my knowledge by teaching them things that they might be weaker at than I am or have them teach me things that they're stronger at than I am and working together to figure out things that we're both weak at. So I spent a few hours this afternoon in the library working with a friend. I like to keep group study sessions less than three people, preferably just like one other person especially for neuroanatomy where it's kind of like facts and less like digging into things yeah small groups are best for group study because 
you don't just get to relax. You you have to actively engage with that group in order to learn and get something out of it. Whereas if you get bigger, you can kind of just like sit back and listen to people or like pretend you know some things, which kind of defeats the purpose of group study. So now that I've come back from that, I'm giving my brain a good solid break. I'm actually going to clean my room because it's a mess and I like to have a clean space to like kind of wrap up my night of studying. And then I'm going to go through my entire Anki deck for this unit, which is something around like 400 cards. So that should take me maybe a little more than an hour. At this point, I should be able to mark them all as easy. And so it should just be a confidence booster. And then on exam nights, I like to turn it off pretty early by like seven o'clock and either work on something else or just completely turn off school altogether. I definitely always get plenty of sleep and then I will fill you in tomorrow morning on what we do before the exam. Hello, good morning, happy exam day. My exam is at 8 a.m. It is currently 7.15, I just had breakfast. I always try to have a good breakfast on exam days and kind of just take a slow morning and relax and then I'll log on for my exam at probably about 7.45. My exams are proctored online at home because I'm in a hybrid program. I don't have to go in and take an exam, but it is proctored. So until then, I'm gonna spend some time warming up my brain and I'm gonna do my flashcards. Practicing recall is really good before an exam. So I don't review notes. I practice recall either with quiz questions or with Anki cards. And this morning it's gonna be Anki cards. And normally when I take the exam, I feel fresh and peppy. Yeah, at this point, if there's anything that I come across that I don't know, I just push it off and focus on the things I do know because I don't wanna lose confidence right before the exam or stress myself out by trying to like quickly memorize something. If I don't know at this point, I don't know it, but hopefully at this point I know enough information that I can like logically backtrack if a question about that, about a topic that I for some reason don't know about comes up. So yeah, let's review some flashcards. It's time. I feel ready. I feel pretty good about it. So that went really well. Hello. Welcome back. Um, yeah, that went really well. I feel pretty good about it. Um, there was only one thing that I was kind of surprised by, but I was able to use what I knew to figure it out. And we did get to see a review key, and I did get that one right. So we love when that happens. Um, so thank you for studying with me this week. I hope you learned something about how to study for exams um, or just got inspired to be productive. If you have any questions or any tips for me, let me know, and I'll see you next week.